Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video and this is probably one of the most excited I've been to make a video because this is my best gameplay so far and I don't know why I said that with that sort of sort of rapper flow on that but I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more kills and how I was able to get this really good gameplay. 89 to 9 in Domination. Now in other Call of Duties that's like yeah whatever it's a good game but in this game when Domination is 50 points a kill and I got 89 of these kills and most of them are coming from my gun, which was this M19 assault rifle, which I just made a class setup on yesterday. If you guys want to check it out, I definitely recommend you do. This gun is amazing. I'm very excited about this video. So I definitely think this one deserves a like. Of course, I'm going to be going for bigger and better gameplays and stuff like that. I've already gotten the, uh, what's it called? The V2 rocket. Um, and I've gotten now this gameplay is my most kill so far in domination. Of course, you know, in the other game modes where it is hundred points per kill and in war, of course, people are getting hundreds of kills, but um, let's talk about, okay, wait, what am I, I'm getting lost right now. So drop a like on this thing, boys. I'm just too hyped right now. 2,000 likes up the goal. If there's any video I could ask for a like on, this would be the one. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and let's talk about it. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to get more kills in Call of Duty World War II. Now, there's a multitude of ways. So, my favorite game mode, personally, is Domination. So, I'm going to talk about that first. Now, Domination in this game is very fun. It is a fairly long game mode. Most of your games are going to uh, go between 9 minutes and 12 minutes. So, you have a fair amount of time to get quite a bit amount of kills, especially on the smaller-paced maps or the smaller maps more faster-paced. So, the first tip I'll give for getting more kills is you want to focus on a certain set of maps. Play in those smaller maps now the way to get more kills get a higher score per minute get more score is on maps like the forest one that i'm playing on right here flak tower gibraltar london docks point du hawk those five maps are what are you're going to be able to get the most score on because those are the smallest, fastest paced maps. On a bigger map like USS Texas, which is a, kind of a good map, but there's too much space at the back. On uh, Gustav Cannon, Aiken, uh, you know, those sort of maps, it's going to be very, very hard for you to get a lot of kills because those are bigger paced maps. So if you want to get more kills, the number one tip will be going smaller maps. Now, with Domination, it's only 50 points per kill. So honestly, this is not the best game mode to get more kills in this game mode how i do it is i run if you're playing a game mode that has a smaller amount of score per kill for example 50 points per kill i run with low kill streaks the uav the glide bomb and the fighter pilot and even on bigger maps this is or, uh, bigger scoring game modes this is a good setup for the reason that score streaks in, in most other games the way to get more more kills is get the big score streaks let them go to work now i've got the big score streaks multiple times in this game paratroopers are fairly useless the carpet bomb is pretty good and the ball turret is very very good but as far as most of the time the strategy for this game to get more kills is playing aggressively and to basically cycle through a lot of lower kill streaks and that's why i recommend this score streak setup because it's your best bang for buck you're gonna get the most kills out of the least amount of work uav fighter pilot and the glide bomb uav of course is super useful for not just you but your whole team helps you get good position on the map and definitely gets you a, a bunch of points through them getting assists which lead up to your more score streaks and also you getting kills and noticing the enemies because of it Gl uh, the fighter pilot is the next one that's about 625 i think this pilot is probably or one of the best streaks in the game it's pretty much two to three kills guaranteed if you're smart at placing it and you're on a decent map which is very good for a kill streak of this amount of points and the next one is glide bomb which is a essentially a predator missile which is usually one to two kills it's not as good as the firefighter pilot which is ironic because it's more points but it definitely is good now the annoying thing about these is you have to stop and you have to take your time to call in these score streaks which can be kind of annoying but as the score streak balance in this game it hasn't been buffed at all and i think they need to fix the score streaks if you remember into call of duty black ops 3 it took it like two or three months before they they basically balanced out the score streaks because there was issue with people shooting it down in this game the issue is they're hard to get and they are um not as strong so in domination that's what i would rock now the best game mode for getting more kills is going to be hard point by far in my opinion or capture the flag now hard point the reasoning behind hard point is hard point is pretty much the same as domination you get your 9 to 12 minute games however you're going to be getting 100 points per kill automatically and that's just a points per kill on a default kill not even counting a defender an aggressor medal or anything like that hard point is the way to be able to get these streaks faster and i'd still recommend 
recommend sticking to these smaller streaks. Maybe if you're playing hardpoint, you can up it to an artillery barrage or maybe a carpet bomb or something. But you don't want to go for the super duper high streaks in this game unless you're doing a different method, which I'll talk about later. But that's basically what I'm saying. This game revolves around gun kills. So to get more kills, you can't camp. You have to play aggressive. And that's why you see me, you know, my most kill games, 70 plus kill games, this 89 kill game are with submachine guns or with a fast paced assault rifle. And what I mean by that is not a semi-automatic assault rifle. I'm using the M19 here, which is the fastest firing assault rifle. One that I'm able to rush with, be fairly aggressive, cycle through my streaks while getting the majority of gun kills. And that's the way to play this game. The maps are small. You can control the spawns and manipulate the spawns if you understand the game. And by holding them into the spawns, understanding the map, you can get a lot of gun kills, lead up to those kill streaks, and let those kill streaks go to work by cycling through them. You know, if you go, if you get the ball turret, sure, it may get you 10 kills. But if you cycle through three sets of glide bombs and fighter pilots, that could end up getting you 15 kills. So it's all about risk versus reward. And I definitely think this is the best score streak setup in this game it would be UAV glide bomb and fighter pilot or if you want to up it another notch you could go with the uav the artillery barrage and the carpet bomb something like that or the mortar strike those are good setups in this game now there is a way to get more kills i've talked about how you want to play rushing aggressively the classes you want to use submachine guns or a fast-paced assault rifle the maps you want to play on the game modes hard point definitely being the best game mode probably for for the most kills domination being good but you can't rely on the kill streaks as much now there's another strategy to get more kills which is very very prevalent and very important important now this strategy i've used a few times i've seen people using it and i don't know if it's kind of an exploit in the game but this is one that works for people that are able to get over 3400 points in a game and the reason for that is the best game mode for this would be hard point or kill confirmed mainly hard point now there is two different basic trainings that will allow you to get more kills in this game number one would be ordinance and that is because it's basically hardline which goes great with this score streak setup that i've talked about in today's video uav glide bomb and a uh, fighter pilot which are fairly easy to get in those 100 point per kill game modes with or with uh, ordinance on it's even easier and you can cycle through them a lot faster that's basically hardline the next one is requisite now requisitions is great for getting a lot of kills and hard point or kill confirmed if you are a good player because or uh, requisitions what it does is it basically you can only get your kill streaks once but they do not your streak does not reset on death and the, the the amount of points is increased so with with uh with that on with requisitions on it takes about 2400 points to get the uh paratroopers 2600 points or something to get the carpet bomb and 3400 for the ball turret so you have to be a fairly good player you have to get around at least 30 kills in the game to be able to get those which isn't too hard in hard point where it's 100 points per kill plus if you're playing the objective you might only have to get 25 or 27 kills if you run that and you have to be like close to the max level to have all these big streaks unlocked you run those big three you play the game basically without score streaks but towards the end of the game say you're 35 and uh, 15 or something like that and then you hit that uh, amount because you can only earn your score streaks once you get all three of those big kill streaks calling those in paratroopers might get you three kills carpet bomb might get you six or seven kills and the ball turret might get you 10 kills that can get you 20 kills and boom instantly you're at 55 kills plus why those score streaks are coming in you get more map control which allows you to get more kills so that's a very good strategy i would say for if you're higher level if you have requisitions which is unlocked at early level but you need those big three kill streaks and you don't get the ball turret to level 53 and i'm talking so fast because i'm so excited that is a great way to play in hard point domination more focused around gun kills smaller streaks cycling them same with tdm even kill confirmed but hard point mainly the game mode where you're going to want to get most kills with that requisitions with that setup you can dominate people and get a surprise you know you're dropping 40 or 50 kills and then you get all your streaks you go ham at the end you which is also good because it helps you to win the game when you have so much score streak control and you come up with 70 or 80 bombs so that's definitely the ways to get more kills it is kind of unique in this game because different game modes have different amount of points and the score streaks are kind of weak but through this i guess you could say best class setup with requisitions you're able to get these score streaks and do absolute work and i haven't really seen many people talking about this so i don't know if it's kind of you know something that they might patch because it is a little bit overpowered to be honest and i was debating if i should you know make a video on it but you guys deserve to know that is how you can get more kills depending on your game modes hope you guys did enjoy this 89 to 9 absolutely insane game here and another thing i want to point out for a way to aim better and another way to get more kills as well is control freak now control 
Freak is a product I've been talking about a lot recently, and that's sort of because I've been using them on my controller for so long, and I recently got sponsored. Now, basically what Control Freak does is on your controller, the thumbsticks are kind of low, kind of hard to maneuver. Control Freak is like a $20 item that you can buy with my code Goblin. You can get a discount. So it's like 18 bucks or something like that. It might even be less. And the link for that is in the description. So it's a pretty cheap item that can increase your aim and let you get more kills. Because with Control Freak, it extends your thumbsticks. Now, they, they give you two in each package for like whatever, 18, 15, 20 bucks. And what you can do with those is I honestly only use one at a time on my right stick and I save the other one as an extra because you don't really need precision sprinting, but some people like to run both of them so it feels more symmetrical. But basically with that, it allows you to have a lot better aim through that right stick because of the extra length that's given you. The ability to move it around is huge and I recommend everyone gets control freaks because you know scuff controllers are great, but they are fairly expensive. Expensive. These control freaks are cheap and an easy way to improve your game and ever since I started using them in MW3 I haven't been able to play without control freaks like wherever I go if I'm going to my friend's house I have to bring my control freak because it improves my game that much for only whatever 20 bucks definitely worth it for everyone I highly recommend you guys all get that I wanted to mention this towards the end of the video control freak will be linked in the description use code goblin for a discount definitely worth it hope you guys did enjoy today's video a bunch of tips on how to get more kills 89 kills insane gameplay thanks for watching guys drop a like on this thing 2000 likes would be awesome sub for cookie and don't lucky and i'm out peace have a great night guys